Hey guys, this is Trent for Trent Sense, and I am here to shoot uh, some HD quality footage from the HTC Inspire 4G that I recently got from the AT&T corporate store. Um, from what I am seeing here in the viewfinder, um, I can say that the footage doesn't really look too bad at all. Um, it looks like it's pretty smooth for playback. Um, I don't think it would be as nice as the Nokia N8, but I think it would be good uh, nonetheless for HD from a smartphone. Okay, the, uh, the camera unit itself is 8 megapixels, and it is capable of shooting with a video light with the dual LED flash unit. Next to the dual LED flash, you have a second microphone, which I assume works for noise cancellation, but I'm not too sure. Okay, now that I'm with you guys on this video footage, I may as well just go ahead and share some information with you guys. Um, I, my voice may sound a bit different at this point, only because I am suffering from a sinus infection that I've had for the past uh, week and a half. And um, I'm right now recovering uh, slowly but surely, and I'm looking forward to getting back to normal pretty soon to continue shooting videos for you guys. But uh, right now, uh, I'm just going to shoot and do the best that I can with the voice that I've got. Uh, just to let you guys know what's been going on with my smartphone habits, um, I've recently decided to go away from Windows Phone 7 and try my luck with Symbian 3rd Edition all over again. To make a long story short, it was all about having to revive the micro SD card situation once I took out my card from the Focus. And um, I shot some separate video footage to make another video for you guys, um, just to keep you guys up to date as to how that went. Um, after doing the Symbian 3rd Edition for a while, I then decided to make a comeback to Android. And this is why I now have the Inspire 4G for my own personal phone for AT&T. Um, I have to say that I am pretty impressed with the 4.3 inch screen. Um, the width is a bit of getting used to, but at the same time having, you know, the HTC Sense UI, which is very smooth and very intuitive, makes it a lot easier to deal with the width of the screen. So um, it's not too bad at all. Having a notification light is also good um, in having an Android phone once again. And also, I, also, I have to say that um, being able to um, not have good battery life is the only downside of the Inspire 4G. At 1230 milliamp hours, I was only able to uh, get a little over a half a day with my typical usage. So, um, not needless to say, you're going to have to have an AC adapter in your pocket, which is quite unfortunate. But it's to be expected with the capacity of the battery. Okay, guys, with all of that being said, um, I'll have to get back with all of you with uh, a number of videos that have been backed up since I've been sick and out of it for the past few days. And um, until then, all of you guys take care and stay safe.